What is going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel in an extremely stifling, humid and hot Pittsburgh PA. We're gonna jump right into the video and it's install time on the R8 today. But before we do that, gotta remind you guys, we only got about 26 days left of the AMG giveaway. Time is really flying and I wanna let you guys know that we do have new cool merch. Every five bucks spent on the site is one entry to win my C63 AMG. Just check out this AMG t-shirt. Brand new on the site. It's so new, I don't even have it yet. So check it out, autovlog.com. Every five bucks spent is one entry to win the AMG. Hi, Brian. Hey, Michael, how are you? You finally get to drive the R8 now. <laughs> now you're good. That was awesome. <laughs> Look at that. These are off-road wheels here. This well, is what we're installing on my car today. Yes. <laughs> I wish. We're not having that much fun. Well, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. We got our good old friend, Brian, Pittsburgh Views here. He's already at work. We're gonna modify the R8 today, and obviously, I don't know how to do it myself. And what we're doing is, since you guys can tell, uh, he's messing around with this steering wheel. We got a new one from my friends in Sweden, CKM Car Design, and check this thing out. We got a carbon fiber steering wheel with orange stitching. What? This thing looks so nice. You guys might remember that we did one for my C63, but it had the LED lights up top here. This time around, I chose to not go with the LEDs. We're just doing carbon fiber. Since the car has so much carbon fiber all over the place, stock from the factory, and then added with uh, the big wing from Vorsteiner and the diffuser it's got carbon in the engine bay but no carbon in the steering wheel so that's what we're changing today so we've been searching online and there's not really any instructions for a gen 2 r8 there are for gen 1s we're gonna have to uh, like wing this and finagle it try to access how to remove it and everything so we'll see if this gets done today hopefully it does <laughs> what we have to do is stick that little pick tool in there and release a spring to get the airbag out. You got the first side though. I know, I remember what I did now. <laughs> Brian's the man. Brian has a new car coming by the way, so you gotta go follow his channel. Well, you should I'll come. link it in the description. It's gonna get delivered uh, later in the week. You can come for the... Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Link. For sure. So there's Mark. Okay, perfect. On the steering wheel itself and also on the shaft, so you can line it back up perfectly. All right, perfect. We got the wheel cooking. Because the thing is, you have to turn the steering wheel to be able to access these little uh, hooks here to get the airbag out, but then you we unplug yeah, the battery and then you can't turn the... I should have just straightened it back out. Once Brian! <laughs> like, I have any right to ever yell at you, ever. Since I always need your help. All right. This, this, you know, obviously this little silver piece here and the buttons will just transfer over to the new steering wheel. Oh. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so this steering wheel, all uh, perforated leather. Now I cho chose to stick with perforated leather on the new one with the orange stitching. I hate Alcantara on steering wheels. I think it's overrated because, you know, it just turns old. Because you're not a race car driver. No, I don't <laughs> want to wear gloves either. And I have a uh, greasy hand, so it just gets all messed up. You got to comb it and stuff. Who, I mean, who wants to deal with that? <laughs> Horrible. Same airbag, same little silver trim here. Now you can customize these steering wheels like to infinity with all kinds of stuff. All I wanted was carbon fiber and orange stitching. So a steering wheel like this, depending on the customization and, and uh, you know how much stuff you want for it, it runs around like seven, eight hundred dollars. Now CKM, the company, my buddy in Sweden who owns it, he'll make steering wheels for any kind of Audi or any brand. So it's not just for R8s or just for Mercedes or whatever. He can create one of these steering wheels for you. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link for his website in the description below. So like we said, this whole part here, all this will transfer over here. So Brian's unscrewing everything here. We don't know how many screws we're gonna have to unscrew, but we'll Let's find fly. out. So after prying and bending and uh, trying to be careful, but still using and applying some power, Brian got this uh, stock trim off the old steering wheel that will be put on right here. There's really no special technique, right? You just gotta be careful. Yeah, you just gotta pry. Yeah, and ah. there's a lot of fan. Why are you dropping all my screws, Brian? Was it a, one of those tiny ones? Of course. <laughs> Damn it. Here. Sick. See, I, 
I am of some purpose, Brian. By the way, it's 100 degrees outside. It's about 100 degrees in Brian's shop here as well. That's why the fans are on and the audio is kind of crappy. I apologize about that, but what are you going to do? Look at that. It looks so much better. A lot of crap going on here. <laughs> Everything's just hanging. <laughs> Dude, I would have a nervous breakdown if I was doing this myself and all that stuff hanging. To keep my sanity, I come and see you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the paddle shifters are back in place. You put one screw back in. So let's just count how many screws we have. You just pick one up, right? That's two, yeah. three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. These aren't screws. So you put the shifters in. They have a little hook on them, so you got to hook it and then push it up against there, so they'll put the screw back in the hole. Oh, okay. So basically what you do, you gotta get this piece off here. You get the airbag off, the steering wheel off, and then this piece that holds, you know, the drive select button, the performance button, start all this stuff, and then for the steering wheel functions, that's all one piece. You just transfer it over to the new steering wheel, and just be careful that you're not breaking anything when you're prying this off. Like I would've done, guaranteed. Because you know, I don't have a lot of patience. And after a while I get mad, and then I start using power, and then it's like, <laughs> and something broke. This is a little bit tedious. So we got uh, this circuit board looking thing back together. So that's these screws right here. And then connect this little ground, ground right there. And then uh, everything is like on here. So are we, we're ready to just put it back I think on. So. I think so. Huh. <laughs> oh, dude, that looks sweet. Hold that up, Brian. Hold that up, Brian. Yeah, that, that's nice. Nice. Check out the carbon. I mean, compared to, look how boring this looks. Look how boring this looks. Huh? I know. I mean, I have an image to protect. No, but seriously, look at all this carbon here. Carbon. We got carbon in the engine bay. Carbon. Carbon diffuser. Carbon all through the interior. Good. Come Mid there. console thing. I mean, we have to have a carbon steering wheel. Grab the airbag. I must have exploded in my hand. Plug and play, Brian. Plug and play. For you. Torque this Not for me. back. There you go. So we're going to plug the ba battery back on before we actually... Ah, God, it's so hard to reach this thing, man. That works. Give it a couple reps. Woohoo! <laughs> The horn works, man. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a little sensitive right there. Hmm. So we took the airbag off, and then we loosened the screws on that circuit board looking thing because they were very tight. And now uh, we just need the airbag to click back in. It's in, but it's just... Wobbly. Not flush. Well, at least it's not honking nonstop. It's not honking nonstop. <laughs> yeah, see, now it's too tight again. That's weird, man. See, as soon as you loosen it a little bit, it stops. It's in there, it's just... Man, look at the steering wheel. It looks so much better than it did before. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna drive to Brian's house because he has to get home. His wife has to be somewhere. So, you know, he has to be at home. You know, the kids are home and all that stuff. We're gonna finish this because the only thing that is really missing or that we haven't really perfected is the airbag. It's on kind of like crooked. 
We fixed a honking issue at least. So hopefully the airbag doesn't just pop out in my face all the way there. <laughs> all right, so we're at Brian's house. Wife's off to bingo. We made it in time, but we gotta try to figure this out now. It's an annoying little, because everything else worked just fine. And then we have the stupid fitment of the airbag thing. See, now it's too loose. So you have to push really hard. That is so weird. So weird. But it, it looks better. It doesn't look crooked though. Correct. So maybe if I just tighten them all in like one turn. It's tricky. Yeah, it's dumb. But before he removed it this time, like when I was driving here, the airbag like sat crooked. Now it sits straight. So that, I guess, you know, you work on German cars and uh, you don't, you know, have set instructions. I think it can be a bit trickier than working on a domestic brand. Everything's so intricate. But at least you know how to get this airbag off in like half a second. Oh, yeah, now. much, much <laughs> more efficient with that. So, hey, by the way, how do you remove the airbag? Is it left to right on that little... Uh, it, if, well, you have to do it... it yeah, you turn the steering wheel. So it's up and down. So Up and down, okay. Th see, there's a little spring right there. Yeah, I see the spring right yeah, there. Yeah, and then this goes in right, right, there right, and clips right. in, but you got to move that spring in and out, basically. Okay, half a turn. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we can live with that. All right. You don't beat up at people that much, do you? No. <laughs> Just when you're roll racing. Right. You hit a triple beat. Hey, shh. That's not me, I bro. mean, in, when you go to Mexico. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're done. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new nice. steering wheel. Thanks. And it's amazing. So the grip is so much better. And uh, the grip right here is, is a lot, I don't know. It, it's bigger. Yeah, it's more ergonomic. It feels better in your hand. It looks absolutely amazing. My man B hooked it up again with the install. Seacamp car design hooked me up with the actual steering wheel. Absolutely amazing. I'm like, what do you think, Brian? Maybe they'll want to hook me up with the steering wheel when I buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? No, you mean for the beep yeah. that you're getting. Yes, that. <laughs> yeah, Brian's getting a new car. So this is going to be exciting. Brian, poor Brian, he's been waiting for so long to find the right car. You are kind of peculiar and, and specific too, though. Yes. So that, that's also why it's been taking a long time. But you're finally replacing your M4. Finally. Which you sold last summer. In July. So it's 11 months. Well, it's going to well, be 12 it, months. It's going to be 12 it's, months. It's July in like four hours. A whole day, a whole six year hours. without uh, owning a manual transmission vehicle. Oh, so it's manual. Yeah. Oh, you're giving some hints. Yeah, Look at it. that, Brian. Oh, yeah, that looks, awesome. That looks spectacular. Yeah, everyone go subscribe to Brian's channel because he's about that. to have a new car and make fun content. So, yeah, it's going to be sweet. Thanks for always helping me out, dude. You're the man. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah, see, I, I was contemplating doing this myself. Now that we've done it, <laughs> you know, I would have definitely had a nervous breakdown. Yeah, I, it would have probably taken me three days and like 14 calls to you. <laughs> I would have figured it out eventually, but it would have taken yeah, so well, much longer. It's a little Tricky. <sighs> okay, oh, so yeah, what so tools do we tools. have here? <laughs> we have a T20 Torx, uh -huh. a T25 Torx, uh -huh. little, little flat blade screwdriver, a, we had a 10 millimeter to take the battery uh -huh. off, and then I, yeah, the size. I don't know how these go, but this is a 12. It's a 12. This is a 12 triple square, which 12 you pretty much need for square. every German car. like. To remove square. the actual steering wheel. That's yeah. what holds it together, the main bolt there. Yep. So this is all you need right here. And then some, some kind of knowledge. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, flashlight. You definitely need flashlight. <laughs> right. You need to have the windows down if you have 5% tint though. Because yeah, you can't or, see any. Or the windshield tinted, yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks again, bro. Appreciate it, man. No problem. Yeah. No problem. I'll see you when you pick your new car. It's Sydney's first time in the Audi. You haven't been on the channel in forever, honey. I have yeah, where you been? Where have I been? Um, okay, we're gonna make a full uh, video I'm, with you in it, but not today because we don't have time. This video has gone on for over 14 minutes already. What do you think of the new steering wheel? I think you're not even looking at it. I've never been in this car before, so I know. I've been before and uh, after, right, that's true. So. But it's a carbon fiber steering wheel, and it feels amazing. Our Great quality steering wheel, uh, okay. and it feels amazing. Great grip. I'm so happy. Horn works just like it should. Well, it's fun to have you back, honey. We gotta go do some. It's fun to be back. <laughs>
We're going to see more of Sydney in the videos as well. But we got to go grocery shopping because pretty soon, in about a few hours, Sweden's playing Ukraine in the Euros. So we, gotta, we need some snacks and stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I absolutely love it. Amazing first interior. Probably the only interior model we're going to do in the Audi as well. I love the steering wheel. Huge thanks to CKM Car Design. Huge thanks to Brian for helping me install it. I'll leave links to their channel and to CKM in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a huge thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to. Please subscribe and, and leave I, a like and hit I, the notification the like bell. Yeah, oh. that too, notification bell. The no yeah. Is there something on the lens? Crap. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.